I'm getting one right now. <laughs> it's okay, baby. You got this. I'm I can't ready to just start pushing. I can't believe it. I just want to know what he looks like, how his hair is going to be, what he smells like. Let's make a prediction of what we think baby boy's arrival time would be. Like 146. I feel good now that I get that there. I feel good, no man. pain. My body's just doing it on its own. And push. Yeah, you go. Three, two, four, five, six, go, seven, go. eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Belly. So this is the bum. How do you feel, babe? Uh, I can't believe he's here. Thank 
came out so fast. I don't even know how many pushes, but all I know is those last three, I felt it. I was like, are you guys sure you don't want me to push? Like, I should push, push like, slow, like, soft. And I had, like, three little pushes. You guys, I just want to let you know, the camera with my head cut off was her fault. Don't blame it on me. Because we, we had to hide the camera. I had to, like, though. sneak it, press record. So, I mean, you got to see her, so that's what really matters. You know, my reactions are just like, I can't wait. For but like her. she's so strong, like bro, she like when the lady came in and checked her, she was like, Oh, yep, it's time. Next thing you know. Like, I would say you push it at least like twelve times after. Yeah. It was like a good six times just regular. And then like the last four or five times he was right. They had to, they made her stop. They were like, Stop pushing. He's about <laughs> to fly out. We need to get ready. I'm They'll like, see what? The Next thing you know, guys, she just pushed. They told her to stop. And like the last three pushes was crazy. You wanna know the craziest part? Bro, the craziest part was that I'm looking at him and his umbilical cord was around his neck. You guys, we kept losing his heart rate once Oh I my hit, like, god, when I seen that when his head years. when his head came out and I saw his neck, and the lady said it, oh I found the umbilical cord. I look and it's around his neck. Bro, I was shook. Yeah, we kept losing his heart rate, but they were, like, monitoring him. It would come back quick enough for him to make it and me not have to go into, like, you know, a C-section or anything. I was shook when I seen it, but the, the good thing about it was, like, I could tell, like, it wasn't, like, it squeezing wasn't tight. him. Yeah, like, he like, didn't it was come just, like, out, like, with his, his face neck. purple or anything like that. Yeah, like, it wasn't, like, squeezing him, so, like, I guess that's why, like, they weren't too worried. Like, I guess, like, it didn't get, like, like, it wasn't suffocating him. It was just, like, around his neck. Yeah. But like when but, I seen it, I was like, oh my god. But it did cause his oxygen levels to be like a little different. Yeah, so like while he was in the room coming out, like he could have had more oxygen coming in. But yeah. since it was around his neck, And even right now, she just told us that he's breathing a little fast. So we just have to monitor him for a little bit. Can't believe he's here, guys. I'm so happy. Welcome, little baby. No, we're not telling you. We're not telling you guys his name. We're calling him baby number three for now <laughs> baby boy but he's a hundred percent healthy he's oh my beautiful. god you guys he he's looks eight just pounds three ounces how was she carrying him around that and this time? was my smallest belly baby you're leaning on my oh yeah, oh, yeah. i'm leaning on the over oh, yeah. that just came out of you <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry babe. i'm sorry yeah you guys we're gonna soak up these moments and we will see you guys later and i'm pretty sure you guys are not gonna want to hear this beeping noise yeah or sorry guys coming? Are you pooping? All right, guys, so we're going home today. I feel like I just gave birth yesterday because of the time that I gave birth. Wait, did I give birth yesterday? I did give birth yesterday, technically, because it was after 12, 1.40 in the morning. But it just feels like so soon to go home, but I'm ready to go home anyway. I don't care. A little update. The last thing we're waiting on is his hearing test. They're going to come do that in the room. We're waiting for his birth certificate. We just had the phone call for all of the information that's going to be on it he had his 24 hour like newborn test where they test for like jaundice they test his blood all that stuff and to my understanding everything came back good right babe yep everything has come back good so the last thing we're waiting for is the results from the hearing test and we'll be a-okay baby completely 100 percent healthy i feel like that is like a relief when you go through almost 10 months of just worrying about like you know like everything you're giving to your baby and like how he's gonna come out and if everything's gonna be okay and all that stuff especially because of the fact that he came out with like the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck so his breathing was off his oxygen levels were off at first and I was just worried but turns out he is perfect um but yeah so that's really it um, am I missing anything? My brain is going into postpartum mode, which is like, there's like pregnancy brain, then there's postpartum brain, and then there's mommy brain. So it never goes away for the rest of my life. Love that for me. My brain is not really functioning today, and plus I'm still on massive, well not massive, but I'm taking medication every three to four hours, you guys, because this pain is bad. I feel like if I'm not on medication, I have non-stop contractions still. Um, this is something I never went through with my first two because I did not try to exclusively breastfeed and this time I'm exclusively breastfeeding right now 
so when you breastfeed your uterus kind of you know everything in there goes back and shrinks so you're like contracting as you breastfeed and even when you're not when he's not on the boob so yeah it just feels insane i've never felt this before so i'm about to get myself together brush my teeth brush my hair um i'm going to change him into his going home outfit i'm probably gonna get some cute pictures with him before we go if i have time and that's it here we have melissa breastfeeding this is so crazy to me that he's actually eating from my boob my third kid is finally eating from me my other two they did not want it breastfeeding Melissa. you like being I a cow, be a cow. <laughs> hey guys i just realized something what this is the longest he has went without stopping Oh yeah, that's true. Like he latches, he latches, and then like he takes a few sucks, and then I have to like reposition him or something. But he's just sucking. And you know what's crazy to me, bro? His stomach is the size of a blueberry. Like, yeah. Bro, you drink two sucks of milk, you're full. Like what? Yeah, like a they, blueberry. Like that's insane. The size of a blueberry to eat every two hours. Yeah, like that's crazy. Like it's not like he's just drinking it; it's just coming out of his body. Like at least let him digest it. Damn. <laughs> he just burped twice, guys. That that made him burp. Honestly, he has been burping him so much better than I could. I don't know why, but he just it's don't like burping time. me. I'm a pro. And then I give him to Josue, and he burps perfectly you what fine. To do? You gotta pat it and then like rub. I it. do it. Um, this is my third kid. Do not try me. Guys, he's so cute. <laughs> he smells so good. Like, honey baby smells so good coming out of the womb. Look at him, like, look at the size of him on top of you. He's big. Like, he's so long and... Looks like a one-month-old like, baby. He stopped making long noises. Yeah, he stopped fussing. He just had that burp in him. Let's see little baby right now, right when we're about to go home. This is hot. It's okay. He's so tiny in here. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh my god guys, I can't believe we're about to leave the hospital. Finally. This is first time seeing the sun. Oh my god. And he fell asleep. And he fell asleep. Eyes is closed. Come on, buddy. What do you mean? I can't believe it, guys. I love this stroller so much. You would never catch me pushing the first. The first two strollers, I had to push it. This one, hey, she's gonna be pushing this baby all the time. But guys, I gotta put him in the car. So here, still learning how to use this thing, guys. Okay. We're home. We're home the kids met him, and Alani's sleeping. But you guys will see that in another. In another video. Melissa's over here fighting demons, fighting through the pain right now. Shout out to Yeah, I'm struggling right shout now. Shout out to guys. every woman that has babies. Like, y'all yeah, <laughs> some warriors. Yeah, you guys, these over? contractions you get when you're breastfeeding are no joke. It's literally like being in labor at like maybe a level five. You guys, I had to leave my fishies alone for like three days. <laughs> One of his fish R. died. R. My guy, Jack, man. Jack passed away, you guys. He was already sick. Before we left, so I kind of knew he was going to die soon, but... Meet your other siblings. His first time in his asinette. He's falling asleep. We got car ride. Some sound. I did that. She He's was like, I think I might need a feed him. I needed a break from him on the boob. She was like, we're gonna have to give him a little pacifier. Guys, <sighs> I think we're gonna end the vlog here. 
Are you guys ready? You ready, ready to see him, to see Nani? Him? Okay, you ready? Come here, Nani. All right.